matrix. And to do so, I request Ms. Sonika Aron, CEO Marching Sheep, to please come upon the stage. Ms. Sonika Aron, an XLRI postgraduate, founded Marching Sheep in 2013, specializing in HR consulting for diversity and inclusion, employee well being, learning interventions, and policy streamlining. Recognized as a top HR firm by Forbes, UN Women, and others, Marching Sheep is a thought leader in progressive HR practices. A very big round of applause for our speaker, everyone. All right. It's still morning. Good morning. Uh, my name is Sonika. Naam to sunai hoga. And I am from Marching Sheep. Marching Sheep is an HR consulting firm. And guess what? I started it in, in Hyderabad in the year 2013 as a solopreneur. So it is an absolute pleasure to come back here after 11 years and speak to you all. Today, huh, Bajao, Talia? So today, more about us. Uh, we are now working across 80 countries. I am no longer a solopreneur. We have a huge team. Uh, we are, are catering to more than or have catered to more than 380 clients. We are completely industry agnostic. We work primarily in four areas. The first one is bespoke learning intervention. So we help organizations build capacity. Uh, through different kinds of behavioral interventions. We work in the area of diversity, equity, and inclusion, OD interventions, and talent management. We are today possibly considered as um, the thought leaders. We do not hesitate from speaking out things which others don't want to speak about. So uh, if you somewhere hear that marching sheep is being uh, Roger, because they want, they spoke about Karnataka tapes. Don't be surprised uh, if you hear that marching sheep is questioning organizations that why is menopause is not, not in their policy. Don't be surprised because we take very bold steps because we believe change has to start from somewhere. So that's who we are, and we have been therefore recognized uh, UN uh, women. U U.S. Embassy to Fortune, Forbes, the works. Moving on, before I move forward, we've been hearing a lot about how we as l and professionals can become more effective since morning, isn't it? Bhoat sare tools. Everybody okay with Hindi, English, English? Hai na? Good. So, um, AI, micro-learning, um, lots of it and very useful I use them too but ever thought about that what is our role in the bigger picture so let me ask you what is that one big KRA that every CEO has this year as l and heads as leads as CHROs present here what is that one big goal or KRA every CEO has today? Hmm? Nope. Cost optimization. No. No. Ye to bahut politically correct answers hain. Sachai kya hai? Globally, kya aaya hai ke karna hai? Haan, is sustainable kis ne bola? Sir, ye mitali baiti hai yaha se, on se chocolate le le na. Thik hai? So, sustainability ko, agar if I break it up into something, what does it stand for? ESG. environment, social governance. How is it being implemented in India? Any thoughts here, anyone? Any know-how? Yes, ma'am. So, 
sorry. But that's the UN SDG goals, but you're close, it is connected. There is a report called the BRSR, Business uh, Reporting Sustainable, uh, Business Responsibility Sustainability Report. The top thousand listed companies in India have to mandatorily um, put, uh, give it or submit it to the government every year. But it is only now it is going to get to every organization eventually. Whether you are an MNC or not, whether you are a startup or not. Please understand that today everyone is evaluating organizations on how responsible you are as an organization. Your potential talent, your customer, your consumer and your investor. I saw a lot of, I interacted with a lot of uh, IT companies. I'm sure you have investors. Investors will ask you, what is your carbon footprint? There is a number. What are you doing in CSR? What is your DEI score? What is your inclusivity index? And trust me, your GPTW report does nothing for that. You need a score representation, inclusive policies, whether you are compliant with the RPWD Act or not, all of that works. You must be wondering, is my LND ka kya kaam hai? Any thoughts? Why is she telling me all this? It's like LND is my right arm. The right arm will not speak to the left arm and the brain will work on its own and the feet will work on its own and we forget the organization is one whole body. As L&D, we are not just supposed to run a training program because the sales head came and said, Mere liye negotiation skills kar do. Are we? Do we do that? I'm sorry, I'm asking tough questions. But the problem is, I was on the other side in 2012. I was heading HR for Philips. So, ye dil ka dard hai jo nikal ke aa hai. Silence is answer, right? So, business will come and say, I want this session, please get it done. We will go hire, uh, we will find a consultant jo sabse kam paise lega, procurement team usko laegi, and we will get a tick mark. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And usko faster karne ke liye because business will say that I don't want to give out people for more than two hours, dhanda kaun karega? To fir AI, micro learning, ta ta ta. Right? Or agar galti se, like Ethan said, ke blended hone chahiye, classroom hone chahiye. Agar aapne galti se ek facilitated session karwal bhi liya, then what will the manager say? Listen, you go for the session, put your attendance and come back. Let HR know that you attended it. Was after consulting for 380 countries, I know inside out of everything. When companies, uh, in, a, in a panel discussion, I was asked, according to you, which company is really up there in terms of their DEI and l &D practices? They were expecting a name from me. And I said, you know, honestly, because I know the truth, none. Because this is the truth. So coming back, if you really want to take charge of what you want to drive in the organization so that your CEO calls you and says, help me drive my agenda. Help me drive ESG in the organization. Help me drive responsible performance in the organization. What is it that you have to do? We need to focus on the social part. The S part. ESG may, if you go and speak, how many of you have spoken to your, do you have ESG uh, manager, leader in your organizations? You have. Have you gone and spoken to them? What do they track? Okay, very good. I, I really like it. Sir, Mitali, a chocolate in ke liye bhiya. Can you give your names, please? 
वरना भूल जाएंगे प्लीज गिव योर नेम्स लेटर टू मिताली मिताली घंटी मत बजाना ओके नाउ कमिंग बैक सो द सोशल एस्पेक्ट नाउ द सोशल एस्पेक्ट हैज टू पार्ट द एक्सटर्नल पार्ट एंड द इंटरनल पार्ट द एक्सटर्नल पार्ट सी एस आर हैज इट कवर्ड because if you are more than 50 crores then the government has mandated you have to spend money on csr whether even if it is electoral bonds right so i hope this is not getting recorded agar record bhi hua hai to kaat dena so but csr is well covered however the internal part where even today when a client comes to you many of you might be in b2b right when you are in b2b a, a client might ask you do you have a posh policy do you have an ic who are your ic members do your employees know your ic members what is the frequency at which you do your posh trainings have you done training for unconscious bias just having an e module on unconscious bias and like ethan just spoke before there are certain things i mean when somebody says na i have an e module on unconscious bias mera dil karta hai that jaise dharti phati thi aur sita mata sama gayi thi waise hi main bhi sama jaau i mean what will you achieve with an e module on unconscious bias by learning that there are 400 types of unconscious bias what will you achieve will you change behavior right so even clients are very smart because eventually when a client is working with an organization they want to know that whether this organization is actually responsible or is whitewashing so we need to look at this now here is where you all play a significant role but you can't do it alone you have to work very closely with hrbps and dni many of your organizations might not have these roles split but many organizations have these roles split and they work in their own fiefdoms this is my area mai dni karti hu ya karta hu this is my area i do lnd and this is my area i am the hrbp so left hand right hand right leg left leg one is going to japan the other is going to brazil one is going to us and the other is going to scotland or australia wherever and the organization has no clue so let's move on the role it comes in three parts what is it that your learning framework needs to include how do you ensure that today's workforce somebody spoke about retention a little while back one of the speakers right yeah how do you create pathways that encourage sustainable growth within the company what is today's workforce looking for Do you know the composition of today's workforce? Gen X, Gen Y, Gen Z percentage. Fifty-two percent of our workforce today comprises of Gen Z and Gen X, uh, Gen Y, and this percentage is expected to go up to seventy percent by twenty twenty-five. Now, this population does not believe in work-life balance. okay they believe in work life alignment which means wo salman khan ka dialogue tha na sajan mein kaam hi meri pooja hai pooja hi mera kaam hai that doesn't work anymore now the question is does this job and this organization help me in reaching my life goals and my professional goals is my job giving me that learning is my manager giving me that learning and exposure is the organization creating that career path that i want now is lnd framework covering that second 
रिटेंशन आजकल तो ले ऑफ का जमाना है बिकॉज ए आई इज टेकिंग ओवर जॉब है कि नहीं वी विन टॉकिंग अबाउट नंबर सिंस मॉर्निंग हैव वी थॉट अबाउट दैट इट्स एक्चुअली चेंजिंग जॉब्स सो हाउ आर वी प्रिपेयरिंग आर पीपल फॉर अपग्रेडेशन इन देयर जॉब्स और आर वी जस्ट प्लीजिंग आर स्टेक होल्डर्स बाई सेंग दैट वी हैव इम्प्रूवड आर प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी मेट्रिक्स बाई रिड्यूसिंग एक्स नंबर ऑफ पीपल think about it if we increase the unemployability in the country to such an extent what will happen to the overall economy who is going to buy your services and products so let's not go and sit on the ax ourselves let's think 5 years from now and last is the learning culture in the workplace we spoke about it in one of the earlier sessions how do you create an environment where an employee doesn't say ki are it is for the hr kras are the manager will nominate and still not send how do you attract because the employee feels that this is going to help me in my next promotion it is going to help me move my rating from a 3 to 4 or 5 how do we do that ghanti mat bajana so what gets measured improves so i am going to stray away from our typical feedback scores and um, you know satisfaction scores etc end of the day i am also not going to say roi end of the day if i show business that because we ran this intervention you had this impact you reduced attrition from x percent to y percent the number of people on pip reduced from a to b the number of pip people on pip who got retained who improved their performance moved from a to b that is the number that you need to track through for for your lnd that is where the tire hits the road not that i have got a 4.5 on all my training programs koi kabhi kisi ko kharab training program ka rating mila hai nobody say everybody is on a high after a training program khana acha hai hotel acha hai venue acha hai trainer acha hai uske baad whether you applied or not kisne dekha so metrics that matter you need to look for your own organization people i cannot tell you you nobody can tell you what is it that you want to drive your hrbp your chro your ceo wants to drive and then think backwards that what are the learnings that you want to build in your organization behaviorally technically functionally and create the why why do they why will they do it because it is good for them for their career for their work life alignment so it is what and why and how all three together so quick case study and because i have been bullying mitali too much i will just quickly tell you the highlights this was an it company came to us bleeding they had 48% attrition they were in it products and they said that listen they had come together because they had they, they were um, there were three different startups which had come together right and they thought ke abhi teen different startups aa gaye hain to chal padega bahut sare log ho gaye there were 400 odd people but they realized they were losing people like crazy there was no continuity so even clients were not happy they were losing clients as well so it was a huge amount of mess there was no common culture language no common set of values right forget about competency framework wo to bahut dur ki baat right so those were the problem statements and there was this constant state of fear agar pip pe kisi ko dal diya so you hire somebody 3 mahine perform nahi kiya pip pe dal diya 1 month out 
PIP meant you are being given notice period unofficially. Okay. So they said that can you help us with all these? So we said that listen, doing a training program is not going to help. Training will be a part of it and that is why I said L&D cannot work in isolation. They have to work with HRBP and other parts of HR. So then we started with our 5I process, interaction, inciting, involvement, implementation and institutionalize. Interaction meant complete data collection from processes to getting down to people who had left in the last one year, going back to them and asking, kyun chhoda bhai, kya dikkat thi? Voluntary, involuntary, surveys, focus group discussions, interviews, uh, we read all their policies, practices, everything. Then we did inciting. And then we did something known as leadership buy-in. Hey, bhai sahab, the problem is in your, the way you are running your business, the way your policies and processes are. Because you made people who were great software engineers into managers without teaching them how to be people managers. And now they believe that abusive language, toxic work environment, is cool or not delegating is fine or going over their team member bola tha na ghanti banwa jana flow toot jata hai bas 5 minutes so all of that that had to be told to them through verbatims that we collect collected data that we collected everything that we collected in the interaction and the inciting stage. Once we had the involvement or rather the buy-in, so this was the interaction, okay? I am going fast because itna bhi achha nahi hai na kisi ka fayda uthana. Then this was the inciting, taking a lot of cuts, deep diving into every possible nook and corner and there were multiple locations mind you. So there were people who were sitting in Singapore, there were people who were sitting in US, there were people who were sitting in uh, Dubai, there were people who were sitting in India in different locations, Bangalore, Hyderabad, Delhi, Gurgaon. So there were multiple cultures within the same organization. Then this was the alignment workshop. And then we implemented lots of solutions. The first thing we said was that there needs to be a common language. What does success look like? What are, what are our values? And we socialized that. We built it into every process starting from at the time of recruitment, it should be a part of job descriptions and people were trained on doing behavioral interviews. Right? Then in integrating it into reward and recognition, integrating it into performance management, integrating it into promotion guidelines. During uh, diagnostics, we also got to know about some key managers who were creating a lot of toxicity. They were put through a coaching program. Then we said the rest need managerial development. Right, so we did managerial and that we did all the tactics that were being spoken in the morning, right, blended. So we had micro learning, we had AI, we had role plays through AI, we had um, uh, part of online, part of offline, classroom sessions, everything. But it was a journey because you can't make a change a individual uh, contributor mindset to a managerial mindset. Char ghante ka session kar dena please. Time nahi hai na humare paas, because client bula leta hai. Mindset nahi change hota, right? So, and then continuous communication, when you are driving change, over communication is not a bad thing. 
and then we institutionalized it, right? How do you institutionalize? And that is where the measure comes. How, we were tracking promotion, uh, attrition month on month. We were tracking the people going on PIP, how is the process going? How is their feedback happening? How many of the people on PIP are actually improving on performance and getting integrated back into the work stream? Right? And these were the outcomes. We reduced attrition from 48 to 23, sorry for the typo, 23% in eight months, which was like a huge success because otherwise it was mayhem over there stabilize the workforce for better project community, there was a common language of success. Everybody knew that integrity ka matlab kya hai, responsiveness ka matlab kya hai, right? Pulse surveys, 40% improvement in employee reported ownership, accountability and psychological safety. Sustainability of the new cultural change through the various processes that we put in place. So that's it from me. I don't think she will let you ask any questions now. But thank you for listening. Thank you so much, ma'am. We are very fortunate to have you here and would like to felicitate you. And to do so, I request Mr. Elton Nathan, Head L&D, TE and TM, Apollo Health and Lifestyle Limited to please come upon the stage.